Now, yesterday, we talked about the get pivot data function and how to turn it off. And below in the comments, our teammate dummy URD said, this can hurt more than it can help. Just write the reference manually if you don't want to use it. That's a good point. So let's investigate. Now, anytime we need to reference a pivot table, well, we can do that equals. And when I click inside on the value I want, well, we don't get a cell reference when we have default settings. And that's the get pivot data function. Now, because pivot tables can be pivoted, this function tries to assure you're going to get the correct calculation. Recommended, yes, and percent count. Enter. Now, if I'm careful how I pivot, for example, I could take values, drag it down below recommended in rows. I have recommended, yes, percent count, and sure enough, F2, those conditions pick it up perfectly. Escape, Control Z. And if I drag a different condition down below recommended in rows, well, I still have recommended, yes, total, that percent, so it works. But if I pivot in a way that gets rid of recommended yes, I'm dragging Google rating above recommended. Now, all the yeses are only associated with a star rating. There is no single recommended yes in the pivot table. So what do we get? Reference. That means the cell reference or the reference went away. F2, those conditions are hard coded in and are not picking anything up. So we can see the benefits of get pivot data. Just be careful how you pivot. So whatever calculation you created and hard coded in, it's still in the pivot. But if you're someone like me who finishes the pivoting and then references the pivot table, you can turn it off. File, options, formulas, and uncheck use get pivot data. Now I can simply equals, and yes, that's M15, a cell reference. But if you use a reference like that and decide to pivot values down here, well, this one got it perfect. But this is not pointing to the conditions to get that yes recommended calculation. It's just pointing to M15. All right, it's awesome hanging out on our online Excel team. Thanks to dummy URD, which probably should be smart PT for pivot table D.